Hey guys, what is going on? Charles D6 here from Jurassic with Charizard, and today you cannot see me because I'm operating this camera, and this video isn't going to be about me. I just kind of um see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you what it's about, even though you already know from the thumbnail and title, because yeah, and you also just saw me hold it and take it off the table. But today we are reviewing. The Jurassic World Mattel for oh gosh, um, please stand by. We are reviewing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, uh, Mattel Velociraptor. So uh, yeah, I mean I got this off of Walmart for like nine bucks or something. Um, so yeah, um, I will put, I will put a link. I will put in link. I will, I will put an Amazon link of how you can get yours down in the description below. So, yeah, there will be a link. Um, there's also two other Velociraptors. Um, there's a green one, and then there's also one called blue. And it's basically a gray one with, like, a blue stripe. Um, well, in fact, I have one he, because blue is a special raptor. And it was also from Jurassic... And he was also in Jurassic World. And, uh, yeah, I have a Jurassic World figure of him from last year when Hasbro had the license. But, actually, they're li um, they lost the license because, I mean, well, look at this. It's, it's wearing lipstick. It, you can't even stand. It's, it's got bullet holes everywhere. Look, focus, focus camera. It's like, bullet holes. It's, the, we are reviewing that because we know that that would get 0 out of 10. We are re reviewing Mattel's better version. It's like my only good, because they only have this one and that one, but this is like way better. It's like my only good Raptor. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's review it. This is from the new movie, Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. And uh, yeah, so paint job wise, I mean I really like this like kind of light orange color with like this dark orange here. But, and, if we all, we all seen Jurassic Park, and, well, pretty much every Jurassic movie, except, in every Jurassic movie, except for Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the Velociraptors are, like, kind of like a grayish-brown. But, well, this, well, there isn't even, well, there's only, um, that one that I was talking about, blue, with the one that's gray with the blue stripe running down its sides, um, yeah, but that one, yeah, that's the only, in, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, that's the only Velociraptor. But Mattel decided, you know what, we're still going to make, um, another Velociraptor in our toys. Well, you know what, we'll just make two other Velociraptors that aren't even in the movie, and this is one of them. There's also a green one. So, yeah, but anyway, um, let's review this. A paint, so, yeah, once again, I like this orange color with like the dark orange on like it's back um it's I let me try focus oh my gosh focus camera focus you guys can't you guys can't see it um you guys can't see it but this eye, you can only see a, a yellow dot, but it really has like a black line, kind of kind of like an alligator eye, but instead of the surround being green, it's uh yellow. So yeah, it's basically just a yellow circle with like a small um, black line down it, but you guys can't see it because my camera quality is bad. I need to get another camera. Um, they didn't paint the claws or the toenails, which kind of sucks. I wish they did that. The, yeah, but they did add the sickle claw because um last year when Hasbro made when ha when Hasbro had the license before they lost it they made um the three other Raptors Charlie Echo and Delta but they didn't have the sickle claws they just had like T Rex feet and uh, yeah they posted images of it on the internet, and it was just like, oh, it must be a prototype. It actually came out of its stores with, like, a normal foot. It didn't have a sickle claw. And once again, if you guys don't know what the sickle claw is, it's that claw that's sticking up. So, yeah. But normally, it was just, like, normal T-Rex foot. Um, they didn't decide to paint them, the toenails, this time. 
So, um, or the claws, which I kind of hate. Um, and the teeth. The teeth, you guys can't see that. They aren't singly painted. They kind of just took a toothbrush and just like, what? But they, but it still didn't get on the gums or anything, which I'm happy about. Still didn't get on the gums or anything. It's just the teeth that, that need to be white. And then it also has a pink tongue. Which, I thought that they would have, like, kind of a darker pink. Like, I don't really like this light, light pink. I wish they had a, kind of a darker pink. But you know what? It's fine. So, um, yeah, that's really it for paint job. Um, articulation, pretty good. Legs can move. Arms can move. But the, but I'm afraid of moving the arms because they're made up of, like, this really flim plastic and I feel like I could just rip it off like it feels really weak I could just like BAM rip it off it just it's just so yeah I'm not gonna move the arms that much if I am I'm probably gonna do it like that and not like that um jaw can also open and close and um yeah I mean the tail isn't articulated and yeah um also so yeah that's pretty much it for articulation and like everything on the body is like solid plastic except for the tail like as you can see like right here is like the is like solid plastic and then right here it's kinda like a it's still I think it still has like plastic inside of it it's just surrounded by rubber because it's really because it's a really hard rubber so I think that there's like plastic inside it like a plastic rod um so yeah other than that everything else is solid plastic um so um yeah um it can actually stand you can pose it um you can make it just stand like that like you, like, I mean, you have to have the feet like this if you wanted to stand, but you can also just, like, move the body and stuff. So, like, so, like, it's hiding in tall grass and it's about to pounce, just like, rip human. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, it, it has okay articul, I mean, it's a pretty good, um, that, yeah, I mean, the mold, I mean, it's, there's just mo- it's mostly just bumps, okay? Like, they didn't, like, have scales or anything, it's just, like, kind of wrinkles. Um, the, like, s the snouts are, like, um, really- the snouts are, like, soft, um, like, the- the s like, the side of the snout is, like, really, really smooth. Um, the teeth, they're bumpy, um, the tongue, just smooth. Um, underbelly is just smooth. And, yeah, they did paint the toenails with something, but it isn't, like, an actual color. They put, like, this clear polish on it. It's, like, all smooth. They put some sort of polish on it, which really annoys me. Like, they were able to do that. Why couldn't they put black paint on there? But, hey, what do, what do I know? Maybe there's a reason. Um, so, yeah. It's about, like, it's about... Four, like its max height is about like four inches tall. I don't. Um. So, yeah. Um. That's basically it with this raptor. So, um. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Um. Once again, you can get yours down below in the link. I don't know how much it is on Amazon. But yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. If you did. Hit that like button down below, it looks like a thumbs up, kind of like this. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're our new channel, and is, and uh, yeah, I'll, s and uh, yeah, we'll see you all later. Bye!